Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh, and have you ever wondered why some Levi's have a blank red tab? Well, I'm about to answer that question for you. Let's get into it. So in the 1930s, Levi's needed a way to distinguish themselves from the crowd. Their patent for riveted jeans had expired, so everybody and their mom was making riveted denim jeans. So they devised a way to sort of set them apart, and that was the red tab. The red tab would be attached to the back side of the jean on the back pocket, and it would read Levi's on one side, and it was blank on the other. Later, they would add uh, Levi's to both sides, then they would change the word Levi's spelled with a capital E to a lowercase e in the early 70s. And largely that has fundamentally been the shape and form of the tab. The colorway has changed for different lines and all kinds of different eras, uh, but largely fundamentally speaking, that hasn't changed much. Now I often get the question about this blank tab. Uh, as to whether or not my jeans are fake, is this a sign of it being fake? Are they not putting Levi's on the, the tab so they don't get in trouble? And no, they're not fake, actually. But it is interesting because the blank tabs exist because of a trademark issue. And that's because trademarks offer quite a bit more protection than patents. So like Levi's mechanical patent for riveted jeans expired after 20 years. The trademark can be maintained for a long period of time, but you have to actually use that trademark as a trademark, not just a function of the garment itself. Like it can't be like a belt loop. Like if it's a belt loop, it's too generic. It has to be very specific. So Levi's trademarked the word Levi's, both the capital and the lowercase version, but they also had to trademark the red tab so that you couldn't just put a red tab on your pair of jeans, slap a different name on it and be clean and clear. So they trademark both the name and the tab itself. And so one in every 10 of these is blank to show that they're using it as a trademark, that the tab itself gets the R stamp for trademark and not just the name. So this way the tab is protected as well as the name is protected and they can have this unique and exclusive use of that design. Now Levi's has been using the blank tab uh, method for a long time, I believe since the very beginning of its use. So it has spanned through all the different generations of Levi's going back to the 30s. Now there is one exception where the, the blank tab does not exist and that is with some of the LVC products, the Levi's vintage clothing products. Uh, they will continue to have the Levi's printed down the side like normal, like you would expect to find on most jeans. Now I hope that helps you and puts you at ease a little bit. If you want more information about all things Levi's, check the eye above, check out our uh, vintage Levi's guide playlist. It has a lot of great videos that can help you with identifying and understanding a lot of different Levi's products and hopefully help you with your garments that you have in your possession. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.